Either way, it'll all be over soon. Impale the priestess to subdue. The tattoo stakes must be somewhere in the mansion. Looks like uh, before we even read the title there, there is a... There's an enemy. We'll make sure to cash on her. So we managed to land a five hit combo there. It's actually a good kill since we need a lot of points here. Because I want to max out the uh, the max value of K's camera. Because as we all know, K's camera is really weak. Is I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really weak. So from our previous run with K, I think we still have those. Uh, yeah. Zero type film. We got two of them. Don't think we can uh, accumulate any points with Reka, that is. And uh, our objective, by the way, in this chapter is to get all those stakes that we'll be needing for the priestess. And uh, I forgot to mention in the intro that we are on uh, chapter 12. Okay, let's read through. Inside a candlelit altar, a miniature double door shrine rests in the place of worship. Inside the miniature shrine, there is a stake of stone piercing the middle. In the shadow of the stone, at the lower part of the shrine, there is a minutely engraved script. By the balance of light, purify the shadow of the tattoo stake. Subdue the priestess in the chamber of needles. Okay, so it looks like our objective in this puzzle is to remove the shadow of that stake that is in the middle of this uh, cardboard. I don't know what it is. But we shall do that. And we got our first tattoo stake. We're actually in the east part. Okay, let's ready our viewfinder. She's gonna be here somewhere. you at get off me this fight is actually very annoying since she's actually flying from here to there Damn it. I'll make sure I'll punish you with some serious spanking. Get 
off me. She has all this many trickery hovering here and there. It's actually very difficult to predict where she's going to go. Wicked ghost. So she will be coming from here. Gotcha. You wicked ghost. Still sealed with that power. I have found a part of the camera obscura. You have acquired the upgrade blow. Okay. So the shot effect is damage. Spirit points needed is all. Use this to inflict more damage than a normal shot. Because it consumes so many spirit points, it inflicts greater damage. I like that. Let's get out of here. So we already got one of those stakes. And uh, we need about three more. The second one will be around here somewhere. That's going to be the North Dollhouse. Or Handmaiden. Quarters. Whatever it's called. And Reka seems to have disappeared. She was here a while ago, I think. Okay, we got uh, one more. Or another of these. Stuff. And uh, the same thing applies here. We need to remove the shadow in the middle. Okay. Hey, that's the second one. So from here on, we're gonna go back to the kimono room. That's our next area. Because I think we need to fight Kyoka and get that purple diary 3. We're actually running out of candles here. But we'll make sure that we eliminate her as quickly as possible. So we're going to waste all that uh, remaining zero type film on her. Since or uh, since she has so many health. Yeah, she does have so many health. So one fatal frame at a time just to make sure we land that shot. So she seems to be hiding somewhere here in the lattice. And uh, we ran out of candle. Ah, oh, damn it. But no matter. It actually doesn't change the uh, the fact that that will get her. So I just need to know where she exactly is. Damn it. Just look at that damage. Get off me, wicked ghost. Okay. She's the one that's gonna help us. Um... 
upgrade our camera, so we better be kind to her and be patient as well. She's around here somewhere, hiding. Come at me. Gotcha. So she she actually escaped that last shot. Come out, you coward. Okay, so we got rid of her, but the miasma has already taken over. A book with a purple cover has fallen where I saw a ghost of a woman combing her hair. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be her third diary. We already have the fourth one. Akito hasn't come back. Everyone disappeared from the manor, leaving me behind. I'm always the one who is left here, combing my hair impatiently. No matter how much I comb my hair, no matter how much I concentrate my feelings, he never returns. Could it be that the earring, the child, neither of them will convey my love to him? Okay. So, looks like we didn't get the holly key or the earrings as well from her because this difficulty is set to... Um, normal or the starter of the game so we're not gonna spoil any uh, anything that's gonna happen here hidden child ghost 2,000 points that's gonna help us a lot herbal medicine yes please So the miasma has been spreading since we don't have any of that candle. And it's actually very annoying that I ran out of the candles. Probably I took too long finding that, fighting that uh, priestess earlier. So there is some sort of reflection. But we just can't take a picture of it. Okay, no matter. There's gonna be some candle here anyway. Okay, I'm gonna keep this candle for now. Let's escape Reka first. Don't think she's gonna follow us down here. Nope. So I wanna take that purifying candle once I'm already done with my objective here. And, uh, here's this, uh, puzzle again. Okay, so let's figure out this one. Okay, there you go. So this is the third one. Let's be off this area. It's a good thing Rika is not following us down here. Or <laughs> she probably is. No matter. We got this candle and we must get out of here. It's kind of funny because it took its time before that candle burned. So there were actually two ghosts there. One of those uh, blind women and the other one is Reka. But we're not going to waste any time fighting them. Neither any of them. Oh, looks 
like that uh, blind ghost is still following us. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to head back to this area because we need one more. There's actually one more stake and that's going to be at the, uh, I think, the, the, the north or the west. It's probably in the west. So we're done with... Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to be the south. There's one in the south. So we're going to get that. And uh, hopefully... We don't encounter any more uh, vicious ghosts along the way. We actually need... Yeah, we, uh, we need some more film. There you go. Type 14. There's been lots of battles here and there. We got this shrine carpenter. But we're not wasting our time on him, or probably I'd waste my time on him. Not sure. He sure has a lot of help backing him up there. Back away, my friend. Damn it. Back away. I got seven film left. Seven left. Please die already. It's probably one shot away. Okay. That's it for him. And probably we have enough points to upgrade our camp. No, we don't have. So probably we need 2,000 points more. Then we're able to max out that uh, max value. What am I doing here again? No, no, no. We're not supposed to be here. I was actually confused there for a second because of that um, shrine carpenter or sacrificial pillar. I was supposed to go here, but I ended up in the other door. Okay. I actually took the longer way. <laughs> I could have taken the shorter way. But no matter, there is actually a shortcut here, so you can just use it. It's a good thing that we removed those blockages from the early chapters. Because it's also going to be convenient for uh, Ray on the next star, that is. Okay, so we here we are with the last uh, stake that we need. And it's pretty much the same, but we just need to get rid of all these shadows. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's the fourth one. And we need to go back to the, uh... We can still make it. Okay, so we need to go back to that, um... Area where we started earlier. Okay, we shall proceed from there. It's not actually far from here since all these shortcuts are open, which is very convenient for us. Oh, this is a rare find. Please, let me go. I don't have any more film to fight these people. Ah, that's actually the worst enemy that you can find here. 
Okay. Let's go back. Hold on. There's actually some sort of herbal medicine here. We'll probably get it since we're already here. Never know. You might need more of these. Yep. Herbal medicine. Actually, if I had a lot of film with me, I could have played with that um, sacrificial pillar a while ago, or whatever it is, Shrine Carpenter. But we can't afford to waste any more of these candles, because the next one is actually very far away. So there's actually um, a candle somewhere here on the projector room. We're just going to quickly grab it. Because it's going to help us. Okay. There you go. Type 14. So how many do we have all in all? 24. Good. There's actually one more here, I think. So since we're already here, we might as well just quickly grab it. Herbal medicine. So many of these. And it's actually okay to run out of these um, candles from this point on because there's actually one where I saw that uh, funny looking mask earlier. There's actually one there. It's actually dying already. It's okay. So there's gonna be one right about here. And we are using it. So that's the reason why I didn't take that one earlier. Because I know I'm gonna run out of candles from here on and it's a good it's a good thing to pick it up before entering these double doors okay so we're gonna enter this double doors right here This is where uh, Miku was uh, last time, or no, not last time. Oh yeah, right, last time. She was the one who opened this area and uh, pursued Mafuyu through these doors. So we're gonna follow the same path. Because we need to um, go to that last area, the abyss. We have any more of that film? No, we don't have any. Yeah, we'll get rid of this dude. We'll make sure we do. He sure has lots of health. Hopefully we have a lot of uh, film with us or our film is enough to kill him.
Yeah, I think this is gonna be enough. Damn it. Got ten more. It's tricking us with these uh, weird ass moves. And we actually s just spammed him with uh, cheap shots there, but it actually did a trick. No matter. No one will survive. No one. There it is. Okay, so this is actually the last area where you're gonna battle Reika with uh, Ray. But uh, they said that there's some sort of hidden ghost here. One in the door and one over there, but I've checked many times. It doesn't appear on the viewfinder for some reason. I don't know. It didn't. Like there's a lot of priestess in there. You finally come. Just do it already. Impale her with the stake of tattoos. The rite of commandment must be conducted sleeping undisturbed for eternity. Just do it. Oh. It can't be. I don't understand. It can't be. She's already staked down. So, what more stakes do you need? No, dude. And looks like Ray needs to go downstairs and check on Kay, whatever happened to him. Because it looks like it didn't turn out well for him. No. Looks like Kay's a goner because he didn't have this earrings from Kyoka. And I think 
the only way to get it is to play it in the second run that'll be on Hard or Nightmare. So we'll get revenge for K on the next run, I guess. So let's inspect this briefcase. The bag has been left open. Maybe he was looking into something. Inside the bag is a tattered and well-thumbed notebook that I guess must belong to Kay. There is a seal stamp onto one of the last pages. Kay's research notes. Okay, let's find out what he's already uh, researched so far about this case. I examined the lyrics of the third verse of the sleeping priestess. It may be some kind of clue. Below are the possible meanings beside impaling the tattoo stake. Maybe the lyrics in the third verse doesn't mean to make sleep, but rather to send off the priestess. These lyrics certainly fit with the funeral song you was talking about. They practice an ancient spirit world religion over there. At the Kuze family mountain, it said there was a sacred area called the Sea of Endless Night. On a certain map is drawn a huge sea-like area behind the manor. Maybe it represents the other world. Could that be where the priestess is relinquished? Hmm, maybe. Send off the priestess, but how? I found an old cassette tape at the bottom of the bag. Old tape Ototsky. But I can just make out the word Ototsky. It looks pretty old. Okay. So much going on here. Let's check out on Miku. Oh. Hold on a second. Let's probably listen to that tape that we just um, received. This one, I mean. Yes, I'm Konami. Konami Ototsuki. The snow was falling. There was a big manor. And inside it, there was an old shrine. I could hear singing. She's in there. Reka is in there. No, further in. It was much deeper, darker, like somewhere underwater. No, I'm, I'm talking about my dream. But it was a very vivid dream. It was lifelike. I've heard that there was a place like this in the village where I was found. A place where you can meet the dead. A quote like, Proper Rift. There's a shrine in there. You can offer a good pain. Uh huh? Yes, that's right. Who was it? The Tuesday shrine. The player that they played a step to take hands with us. And in the end, I must go back to the manor. I've got to see Reka. If I see her, I don't know what I'll do. But if I don't go, she'll... You gotta do something. You gotta do it. Okay, looks like that's Kaname. Could this be the man who entered the shrine? Looks like it. I can hear a woman's voice coming faintly from the radio. It must be receiving from somewhere this house. Okay. Let's find that sound where it's coming from. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out. Okay, looks like Miku is still knocked out. The sound seems to be coming from the attic. Okay. Check out the attic, whatever is lying there. I'm not so sure just yet. Looks like some sort of uh, priestess. 
Inside the drawer is an old book and something wrapped in cloth. Inside the bundle of cloth is what looked like a small stone of some kind. Echo stone earring. Reka who heard the longing of the priestess. Okay. The other world. Looks like one of those uh, tomes again. I'm soliciting test subjects for my research on dreams as the border between life and death. It was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seemed to know of the other world. The man has had the same dream for several months in a row. The dream is as I described them below. He first notices he is standing before a small snow-covered shrine. He has seen the shrine before, but only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of the shrine like it in his hometown. For deep in the shrine, he hears the voice of a girl he left behind. The con by the voice. Each day he goes a little further into his dream shrine. Up to this point, this is a plausible dream, generated from the desire for home and love. Next is where the statement becomes interesting. An ancient ceremony is held there, and one can meet the deceased. There is a huge cave deep in the shrine, and a river flows there. There is a large pit, and the base of it is the sea. This statement is clearly about the other world, particularly the underworld. According to his story, there is a legend in his hometown about the other world and dreams, and much of his dream congrues with it. I recorded his talk on his dreams for four days, compiled below. He is from the Matsu region, where they have an ancient legend about a sea called the Sea of Endless Night that exist in the mountains. There they have many legends related to the dreams. For example, dreams are called the Rift and traverse the border between the other world and the real world. If you continue to have nightmares, the deceased apparently return from the underworld. The shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There rides a priestess who sleeps in the Rift and will take on the nightmare. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess that sleeps in the shrine of the other world, communicating the existence of the rift. The morning after the day I recorded his testimonial on the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. Did he go to see the woman from his hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone, and since ancient times has been said to communicate thoughts, perhaps I can use it to modify the crystal receiver. Okay. More of these weird ass uh, notes. There is a reel of film underneath the book. Ototsuki or Ototsuki. If this earring is Reika's tattooed priestess, then it might convey her voice and emotion. That voice on the cassette was talking about a place where you can meet the dead. Could it be inside a manor? I want to be with him again. That's what Rika's voice said on the radio. Hmm. She's probably thinking the same way about you. Not sure yet, but looks like it. Looks like her tattoo is not as serious as Miku's. She still has more time, I guess. Okay. I want to check on Miku before we enter our room. And it's it's really amazing that she knows that some sort of. Uh, supernatural uh, thing has killed K, but she hasn't actually reported the authorities about it. Does that make her a um, criminal of some sort? I don't know. But it looks like it. I mean, if this happened to anybody, ex for example, K, if he sleeps in your house, you probably would call the police if he just suddenly disappears like that. 
because not reporting it right away is some sort of crime. Okay, looks like this uh, woman on all fours again. Yeah, she means no harm. Okay, so let's continue with our reading. We got some updates on people here about uh, two of it. Let's go with the uh, Konami Kuze first. The voice on the tape left by Professor Aso introduced itself as Kanami. He must have set out for the manor in response to Reika's voice, heard in a dream, and made his way to the Kuze shrine. Did he find her, Reika, the tattooed priestess? Is there really a place inside a manor where people can go to meet the dead? Hmm, I know what you're thinking, Ray. Okay, last one is Kei Amakura. Yu's friend, who is researching the manner of sleep, his conclusion is that to get rid of the curse, someone has to impale the woken maiden and soothe her. And so he's going inside the shrine, and once he's there, hmm, but he, he actually failed. So that's the problem, Ray. You need to do it yourself. There is a camera obscura on the desk. You can save now, okay. And from here on, K is considered as dead. <laughs> we have actually failed to rescue him. But uh, probably on the next run, we'll probably save him. If we can, as much as possible. And that's it for this run. Peace out.